Good evening, everybody. Welcome to day 46 of my carnivore diet. Um, so a couple of things to talk about today. Number one, I got my um, my electrolytes in today. And even though they don't sponsor the show, I got a banging water bottle. It says powered by salt. So that was pretty cool. And that was from Revive. Um, I actually got a, another free, that's a liter. Um, and I bought that one and they gave me a free 750 for ordering a 40 pack. So again, not sponsored by them. I just use their products and like it. So <clears throat> if anybody's looking for some electrolytes, I think if you go and order a 40 pack at the minute, you can get a free water bottle. Um, so that was one thing. Um, another thing, basically we'll just get this out of the way quickly. My numbers from yesterday to today are almost identical. <laughs> Literally, my my weight's the same. My sleep score is a little bit less. My time sleeping is one minute different. And my steps, my calories, and everything are basically the same. So today was a repeat of yesterday. However, one thing I did notice today it was a little bit warmer and I've mentioned before that I ride a motorcycle and it was a little bit warmer today. So I thought that maybe I would actually dress like a normal human being and not wear a hoodie all day and, um, or a really heavy jumper. So I just had a long sleeve t-shirt and a, and a kind of light, more of a spring jumper on and a sweater for those people in the U S if you try, I'm trying to translate for you. And what I realized is, is that my jacket was massive or not massive, but it definitely felt bigger. So I'm certainly shrinking underneath it. That's for sure, because that's probably the first time in, in ages that that jacket has felt big. But when I put it on, I was kind of like, oh, oh, OK. Yeah. So that was cool. That was a nice feeling. Again, not the not the goal of the of my diet and and me doing carnivore but it's still a nice little side effect so i was really really pleased with that um and it's hard to tell i think when you're just wearing jumpers underneath so or whatever or hoodies because they're quite big and bulky speaking of hoodies you'll probably notice that i this is the first time i'm rocking the green um hoodie so it's not new it's just been in my closet but it's Actually, that's a good point. I hadn't even thought about it until now. But this is one of those items of clothes that is I only wear when I'm feeling thin. So I'm sure some people out there will recognize that. But it's just a little bit too uncomfortable, uncomfortable and a little bit tight for me if I kind of have too much weight on. But once I start losing weight, I actually really like it. And I do remember when I lost weight before that I got to a point where this actually felt loose and roomy, not baggy, but roomy. And um, it doesn't feel roomy today, but today was the first day that I felt like I could put it on and sort of wear it and be comfortable. So that's probably, I hadn't even really considered that, but that's probably a side effect of kind of feeling thinner and, and better today. So again, nice, nice to feel that way. Nice to feel you know, like you're, you're doing well. Um, what else have I done? So a couple of things, actually. Um, I've had no tea today and no tea yesterday. And those were the, this is going back to the whole oxalate com uh, conversation. So I decided I used to drink tons and tons of tea. So I've decided to try and stop the tea. So I've switched off of loose leaf, like English breakfast tea, and I'm having peppermint tea. So I am having tea, but I'm not having any caffeine and I'm not having the oxalates from the tea. Um, I have had a couple of cups of coffee today, but only in the morning and none the rest of the day. And at the minute, I don't have anything. I just have a glass of water. So that's good. So I am beginning to rein back on that part of the diet a little bit. Um, it's earlier than normal. It's 940. Well, it's now it's 10 o'clock. But when I started, it was about quarter to 10, which is about an hour and a half earlier than I normally start these things. And I think that 
I'm feeling a little bit of the hangover from getting rid of so much caffeine because I'm actually really tired. I was sleepy and felt like I was going to fall asleep on the sofa. So I came up to do this so I can go to bed early, maybe get some more sleep, which would be nice. And then, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we get on tomorrow. So good day today. Feeling positive. Oh, I also saw that YouTube seems to have put my um, my last video out into the algorithm again because I'm back up to like 2000 views, um, which is amazing. So if there is anybody out there that's new that hasn't seen any of these before, or made it this far, please hit the subscribe button and stick with me and sort of see how I get on. The more subscribers I have, the more motivated I am to make sure that I stick to the diet and to try and do better and better updates every time. Some of them are boring. I'll be honest. Some of them, they're boring. Because nothing happens. Kind of like today. Diet-wise, nothing happened. Pretty boring. Um, but I had some revelations and some other stuff that happened, so that was pretty cool. So swings and roundabouts, people. Um, but anyway, now I'm just waffling. I'm going to go to bed. I will catch everybody tomorrow. So hope you guys have a good evening, a good day, wherever you are, and we will speak to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.